gonna make vanilla roasted pears, one of my absolute favorite, and this recipe makes your entire house smell like a dream. So here's what you're gonna need. One and a half pounds of slightly underripe pears. You'll also need a quarter cup sugar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of water, and two tablespoons of unsalted butter. One of the most important ingredients is this one right here, which is one half of a vanilla bean. Cut down the middle. I'll show you how to do it. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 375. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is cut your vanilla bean in half and scrape out the seeds. I've already done that here, but let me show you how to do it. You just cut your vanilla bean down the middle, cut it completely in half all the way through, put your knife in, you're gonna twist it just to flatten it out, and then you're going to scrape just like this. Then you're gonna add your vanilla beans to the sugar. Once you get it into your bowl, you're gonna to wanna to take a fork, just really work it in the sugar. Now we've already have one prepared for you, so we'll show you what to do next. When you're done with your vanilla and your sugar, you're gonna to wanna to take your pan, you take the pears, and you face them side up. The pears need to be cut in half and either peeled or keeping the skins on. We decided to do a little bit of both today, just for fun. Once you've got the pears in the pan, then you're gonna take the lemon juice and just evenly spread it over the pears, like so. This will mix great once you take the sugar and you sprinkle it over evenly over all of the pears, just like that. Once you've got the sugar mix in there, I like to take my fork and you can either dab each individual pear or I like to take a little piece and just put it in the middle right where the very middle of the pear is so it can melt evenly. Once you get all the butter into the pears, then you're ready to nestle the rest of the vanilla sticks into your dessert, just like this for cooking. I just like to stick it in the middle into some of the little crevices, just like that. Now we're ready to put your pears in the oven. So once we have those in the oven, we're just gonna leave them in for 30 minutes. When 30 minutes is up, we're gonna take them out, turn them over, and baste them. We're gonna put this back in for another 25 to 30 minutes. Once these vanilla roasted pears are done, you're gonna serve them warm with caramelized pear drippings over them. So delicious, your guests are gonna love them. Brought to you by Pam. Pam helps you pull it off.